So what would you say if I told you that you could mow grass with this? Would you believe me? Because today I'm gonna show you how you can do that with just this little thing right here, little remote control. So let's get into it. Hey friends, Joe the Farmer here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Massimo Hedgehog. How cool is this thing? It's a remote control brush cutter, thorn cutter, poison ivy fighter. Gone are the days of you having to push something into that you know thick weedy stuff where the snakes are and the ticks are and everything else. This machine takes on all of that so you don't have to. You just stand there with the remote control and operate it. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how it operates, what kind of controls it has, what kind of debris it could take down, and is this something that you may be interested in? It's a very cool machine. Looking forward to showing it to you. Let's get to work. So this is the Hedgehog, candy apple red, a couple LED lights on it. I love the tank treads, it just looks so cool. You do have some protection here. This is powered by a 196cc motor. The gas motor is what powers the propeller that cuts the debris. Everything else is electronic. Two electric motors, independent. This is gonna be like a skid steer kind of pattern. Under it, this deck will raise and lower with the remote control so you can adjust the level of the cut. Power indicator, power, lighting for turning the lights on, and then just default indicator. Very simple, not a ton of crazy stuff on this. The remote has just a, like a joystick control, lights, moving the chassis up and down. You know, here's your kill switch. This is almost like a cruise control, the fixed speed and then power, and then you can also automatically stop it or turn it on in the future with an electronic ignition. So anyway, very simple. So the remote is really simple, very, very light, almost weighs nothing. You could put it around your neck just so you can have the comfort of operating it. And then, you know, when you're out there operating, you just kind of hold it. And I use my thumb to, as the joystick and it's incredibly simple. My son actually was controlling it and, you know, kids are, they're gonna figure this stuff out faster than we are. But, you know, rear, forward, right, left, it's very, very simple. I say we take this thing out here in this hay field. Let's see if we can't cut something thick and let you all see how it works on a slope. And then we'll talk about some other utility for it. So let's do it. So as you kind of see, I have my pet behind me. <laughs> see, it's so much fun. It's super easy to drive, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing. Hey, hush for a second. We're gonna take this thing and we're gonna cut a path down here. I'm also gonna show you how we can cut into the uh, brush that's close to the lake. If you don't wanna take your super expensive tractor or mower or anything that close to a lake or be at risk of drowning by turning a piece of machinery into a lake, this is a great option for something like that. So we're gonna take this sucker and take him down there and hope Hopefully he's not going to swim. I would say the hedgehog did a great job under those trees and really close to the pond. I don't want to take it too close to the water because I'm still learning. I'm a new operator, as you may be able to tell by some of the uh, erratic turns here and there. I'm picking it up and it's it's actually coming quite easily. But the next test we're going to do is we're going to put it on this slope right here. So unless you have a specialty piece of equipment or specialty mower, uh, that's probably a 30 plus degree slope and I don't think you're going to be taking a lot of machines on that thing. The hedgehog is supposed to be rated at somewhere around 70% slope so I mean that is like that's insanity but with those treads it should give it more stability and it should give it the opportunity to do that. We're going to try it out. We're going to get started. We'll see how it does on the slope. Well, since video doesn't always show <laughs> slopes really well, uh, this is not, it's not easy to walk up and down, but the hedgehog had no problem with it. So maybe it really can do 70 degree slope. I don't have a 70 degree slope on my farm that it could try. That's pretty impressive. Pretty easy way to cut a, uh, 
slope on your property. Well, friends, that is the Massimo Hedgehog. Brand new machine, it's a prototype. This thing's not even out yet, but these things are gonna be coming to market sooner than later. And I think this is really, really cool. Lots of unique reasons to use it. Again, getting under trees, getting close to areas that are dangerous. I think at the end of the day, the number one thing that you'd use this for is to transfer risk from you to something else. And that, that kind of makes the entire machine worth it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this kind of demonstration of this machine. If you like it, let us know what you think. You can also reach out to Massimo directly and just say, hey, we think this is really cool or we don't think this is cool. Whatever you, whatever you decide to say is up to you, but I think it's pretty cool and I appreciate Massimo letting us try it. We'll catch you on the next one. Enjoy the farmer, we out.